G'day trendsetters, it's another beautiful winter's day here at the moment with the possibility of some showers this afternoon which would be nice. Uh, the soil is wet from uh, 20 mils of rain last Sunday, we, we got that rain that I said might be coming and there's been a few showers during the week and a couple more tonight should just finish it off before the cold, real cold winter comes back, uh, probably frost midweek by the looks of it. I've also uh, managed to plant a couple of rows of beetroot, a couple of rows of onions and another row of beetroot down the bottom there and as soon as I finish this video I'll find somewhere to plant some more carrots. But the main gist of this video is what to plant and sow in July which is about a week away. So I'll just give you a bit of time to, to get things ready. At the top of the list is globe artichokes which is a perennial vegetable so to speak and now's a great time to plant it. You can probably buy little seedlings down at your local nursery or the, wherever you get your plants from. I don't know if you could sow, I suppose you could still sow seeds at this time of year as well but if you want to if, increase your chances of getting some sort of a crop around Christmas time or, or January or summer, midsummer, uh, plant seedlings if you can get them. Next is asparagus crowns, the same, you could probably still plant seeds but if you want to get a good head start I would find some asparagus crowns or even you can buy seedlings uh, and that will again give you a bit of a head start. Broad beans, bung them in, you can plant broad beans right through until early, early spring I suppose might be running a bit late just depends on the season if it gets too hot but otherwise yeah broad beans great broad bean and bacon risotto love it uh, broccoli cabbage so seed maybe this is your last chance to sow seed but uh, by all means seedlings uh, get them in the ground and they'll still do well celery I don't know much about growing celery so I don't know whether it's you do it by seed or do it by seedling maybe try both have a bit of experiment I might uh, pop down in the nursery during the week and pick up a punnet and see how I go. Chives, just by seed, they're really easy. Coriander, same. I think I'll put a link up here. I made a video called I Hate Coriander because I really do hate it, um, but it's easy to grow. Endive, which is a sort of a lettucey type plant, uh, again by seed. I wouldn't grow them from punnets, they can be a bit touchy like if you disturb the root system uh, they can bolt the seed a bit so I'd probably plant them direct sown into the garden. English spinach is the same direct sow into the garden or into a pot if you're growing them in pots that's fine. Kale is still a good one to plant. Again seeds they'll transplant all right so you could buy a punnet of seed that's not a problem. Lettuce yep however you like in punnets direct sow you probably get away with it at this time of year, the soil's not going to dry out. Oh, thinking of this time of year, this is really, this is for the Southern Hemisphere. In the Northern Hemisphere, you're going to have to come back in January to watch this video. And even then, up in the colder parts where it freezes and gets snow, I've got no idea what you do up there. You're on your own, I'm afraid. Mint uh, by seed again, or, or cuttings or divisions, you can just pull them apart. If you know somebody, a friend who's got one in a pot, just cut the pot in half, you have half and they can keep the other half, it, it grows that quick. Onions, they said to, you can still sow them by seed, um, I kind of feel that's too late but I'm not an expert on growing onions either, uh, but I did just plant my seeds that I'd sown about six, eight weeks ago today. Peas, all your peas, your snow peas, potted peas, and climbing peas, probably not, they they would run out through into mid-spring and I don't think you'd get much out of them so well, you might be able to do them by punnet I suppose but I wouldn't be planting them by seed but all the others snow peas and, and, and potted peas and stuff uh, shelling peas by all means um, bung some more seeds in the ground radish as pretty much always they're pretty much a year-round crop potatoes a lot of people start planting their potatoes in July the only thing you'd need to be concerned about is if if they uh, come up, because they come up in about four weeks, maybe five, which is only the middle of 
August still frosts around, so if they do come up, you'd have to be prepared to cover them to keep the frost off them or you will lose them and they, nine times out of 10, don't come back through again. But potatoes are fine. Uh, snow peas I've already covered, spring onions by seed or, seedling, or seedlings uh, purchased from your nursery, they're fine. Strawberries, plants, uh, seeds and again potted plants and turnip. Uh, they don't mind the cold, I wouldn't transplant them, they're a root crop. Well, having said that, I, was, I keep reading about people saying that you can't grow beetroot from uh, seedlings or punnets that you buy and I'd have to say that for the last two years I've grown all mine pretty much from punnets I just tease them apart and plant them up and, and they seem fine so um, beetroot or oh, turnip though I wouldn't I, I would direct sow that into the ground and they're they're easy they are um, like a, a, a cabbage seed size uh, you just run your little row out and drop your seeds in and they come up quite easy and that's about it. Also, I'd like to say happy solstice day, or for us, happy winter solstice. I guess for the Northern Hemisphere, that's happy summer solstice. I probably lose up to two thirds of my garden in winter from the shade that is cast from the sun moving north in the sky and, and all the southern sides of the, I've got buildings and a fence at the back and a garage, all the southern side and a tree here. And yeah, it's, uh, it's very hard. I just sort of keep poking things in wherever a bit of sun falls on the garden from time to time. So it's a good day for me because I know from here until Christmas, I will continually and gradually get a little bit of my veggie garden back. All right, that's it. Um, I hope you found that useful. It's by no means a definitive list. It's just uh, probably a list of the more popular and easier to grow veggies um, that you can, you can do in your own backyard. And having said that, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It all helps to make the channel grow and helps me to be able to make more videos like this. So by all means, please like and subscribe and happy gardening and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.